question is from Chef Katie, 1989. What I eat in a day vlogs are very popular on social media. Why do you think we are so interested in what social influencers eat? Yeah, they I, are popular. Aren't I, they? I ask my I ask myself this question all right. the time. It's uh, to this day, it baffles me. Um, if I were to start tracking, and I've done this multiple times since I've had Instagram on, uh, and if I post um, like my my macro breakdown, and then I share the meals throughout the day, nothing gets more traction on my <laughs> stories than that alone. Yeah. It's uh, it's and it's fascinating to me like that people really uh, want to see that, and I I think there's, I think there's two sides to this, right? I think there like we've heard the term like food porn before, mm. so I do think there's this people just, oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I do think that there's a, a a percentage of people that just obsess over seeing food, and more likely the ones that probably have relationship issues with it, and that are yeah. like fa almost fantasizing about all the different meals. I think there's that percentage, mm -hmm. and then I think there's a percentage of people that are just genuinely curious of. You know, okay, this guy talks about nutrition. I trust the information he's providing. I'm really curious to, ex you know, exactly what types of meals he's choosing on a on a day to day basis. It's also, yeah, I think they feel they also see it as like a hack. You know, it's like a, this is a formula that I maybe I'm going to try this formula. Like this is something that I can implement. Uh, uh, you know, to give me you know whatever like amount of weight I need to lose. Like I'm going to just do exactly what you know. I want to look like this person, so therefore I'm going to like repeat those patterns I see and. To me, I see that too with you know athletes a lot. Like people like idolize people, and so it's like now I want to do all these crazy movements. That's a good point because that's what these athletes are doing, and so this is the formula. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, I also think because it's also it's not just fitness people; it's also any celebrity. If they post what they eat, everybody's super interested. Part of it, I'm sure, is people wanting to be more like that person, so they think, "Oh, if I see what they eat, now I, I can eat the same way." I think the other part of it is this: what you eat does kind of say a lot about you, and it is a bit of a private thing that is private enough to where it's really interesting, but not so private that you're not you're not afraid to, to share it. So it's like you get to peer into your favorite celebrities, you know, eating habits, which is a private part of their life. So it's mm. like, you know, I'm a huge fan of, you know, whoever, Tom Hanks, and oh, now I get to see what Tom Hanks eats all day long. I get a, a kind of a private view of the personal you know, habits of this person. He's a real big casserole guy. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> think about it, like, you're, what you eat is a bit of, I mean, food is so shrouded in, in culture and context and, you know, all that stuff. Like, it is kind of fascinating. I mean, I find it fascinating as well. Not, not of all celebrities, but certain kind. I find, you know what I found really fascinating? Um, I went through a whole period where I was really interested to see what Andre the Giant was eating. Well, like, yeah, there you go. But that's because he's such a he's big huge. dude. Right. It was yeah. really crazy. Or like I know like one of the most read articles is Michael Phelps, what he ate in a day. Like, yeah. Uh, the yeah. 10,000 calorie thing. That thing went viral when everybody was talking about that. Yeah, it's really interesting, um, but it doesn't really give you any well, that, useful information. Well, to me, that makes sense. Like, And I guess, I guess in fitness, you're in this kind of performance space, whether it's for look or for lifting weights, right? So people are interested in what are these people – eating to either look like this or perform like this. Yeah. So there's that curiosity I think that people, a lot of people have. You're right. I think this is to both your points here. I think that people are looking at, you know, this person who's tell, telling this, I'm assuming that they're in the space, right? I'm assuming that they're a, a fitness person and the people that are following you are probably interested in either one, looking like you or two, performing like you perform. And so it is, the, like Justin said, kind of a hack for them. It's like instead of me having to calculate my macros, figure all this out, like I identify with this person. I'm kind of like them. I want to be more like them. Mm -hmm. I'll just, you know, if I could see what they're eating, I'm going to eat the same way. So there's that curiosity. Yeah, you know what's really funny about this is uh, when a, a, a social media influencer or celebrity is being filmed on what they eat throughout the day, do you really think that that's representative? <laughs> Yeah. Of their of their everyday eating habits. No, you're getting the best. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, you can't. You're you're not going to just put out like the, the regular. You know, like I just had. Well, like, you know, I don't know. I, I would make the what I think it is. It's either one or the other. Really bad, right? It's not very. It's not a very good uh, snapshot of what's going on. I think either you have one side that shares all the good they're doing, or you have the other side that annoys me all just as much. Days. All the cheat days. Yeah. To yes. show that's all what I mean. It's, not rep it's, none of, it's never representative. It's not like an average day. Though. Yeah, that's what, it, that's what I mean. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's extreme one way or the other. Like, w watch how many calories I can eat in a day or watch my super perfect, you know, 
you know, blessed food from the, you know, whatever Himalayan mountains and, you know, the special fruit that, you know, you know weird, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I think, uh, yeah, I think they're doing. So it doesn't really represent what the real person, I mean, you imagine it's like following her, Gwyneth Paltrow and she has got, you know, a frozen burrito, yeah. you know, out of, the, out of the, my, oh yeah, this is my lunch today. It's a frozen burrito. It's, I got a, from, it's an interesting like, hack whoa. that, that what, uh, social media people have figured out. And I wonder what it would do. Like, imagine if like, we just made it an effort, like, okay, every day when we start these podcasts, you had to tell everybody what you did yesterday. Food what you ate? Yeah. I bet <laughs> yeah. you it would go crazy. Kill me. Yeah. I really, yeah, I know, I know, bro. I feel, It'd be I, boring. It would be for us, but I bet you a lot of After people, four episodes, you'd be like, again? Yeah. You yeah, ate that yeah, again? Again. Oh, <laughs> so stupid. What are yeah. you doing? Yeah. <laughs> 